Oh, there's a no, fucking no, no, line no, here, no, girl. Can... You got a problem here, guy? Oh my god, it's been so fun to be back. It's been chaotic because of COVID. But other than that, it's been a blast. And it's felt just everything feels bigger. Like it feels like a bigger movie in every sense. And it's cool to be back with the family. The last scream that we did was probably the greatest time I've ever had on a set. Just truly the most wonderful, sweetest cast, crew. It's always a gift to be able to join something that you grew up watching. I was a fan of, of Scream and I grew up watching the movies and admiring these actors and then being able to step in and act alongside them is surreal, but then also like having a little part of this story and coming in with a character that is related to one of the OGs is insane. It's, it's incredible. And she's also, I would say, not the typical final girl, you know? And so I enjoy that. I enjoy that, that darkness. And I enjoy getting to play such a complex character that divides people. You know, some people are like really into her and some people are like unsure because they don't know what's gonna happen with her. They don't know if they like her. They don't know if she's gonna turn. Like it's all of these things that I, that I personally enjoy. What I think is really wonderful about the relationship between Tara and Sam in Scream 5 is, well, I view Tara as a very empathetic person. Um, she's very loving and I think pretty forgiving. I think that the conversation that Sam and Tara has in the hospital is pretty rare for them and, and I think that that's really, um, it's really interesting of Tara considering Sam left her for five years and they, you know, so they kind of start close and then they're at odds and then they're close together again because they've been bonded not only by their sisterhood, but this traumatic experience that they've gone through together. Um, but coming into the second one, this is time has passed. Yes, of course, Tara loves her sister and it's been so nice to have her re-enter her life. The only issue is now Sam will not leave her alone for a second. And I think that any teenager kind of understands, or just anyone in general, you know, as you, sometimes you just need your space. You know, sometimes you're just worn down and Tara does not have that opportunity. So again, we're kind of going at each other's throats, but a bit more intensely than we were in the last one. Sam. No, get back inside and lock the door now. Ghostface always finds a way. In, in New York, in the chaotic and, and like bustling city of New York, danger is around every corner. And so it, I think it makes it that much more suspenseful because everywhere that they go, at every corner, and in the, in the subway, on the streets, in parks, wherever they are, there's a lot of people. And like, anyone can be Ghostface. That's the whole, that's what keeps people coming back to this franchise, that it's always someone different. So it just feels, the city feels more dangerous.